It's official. There is gonna be double the drool in the house because now we have another Newfoundland to join the team. Extra, extra, read all about it. Extra, extra, read all about it. Hot off the press, brand new news, front page, who is this? Real low key, take a guess. I stand out from the rest. No contest. I've been a man, I am him. Only fear God with the fear God I'm in. Been blessed, prayed up, amen. Now I'm getting to this money like a paper route kid. So Bear has now official younger brother named Rib. Hear me out. Does he not look like a Rib? A. You could call him Ribby, Riblet, Ribbers, Ribosaurus Rex. A lot of really good names. We're gonna be creating a full on new household. Oh my God, look, they're making out. And today we're also gonna teach Rib how to swim. You've seen this Newfoundland tear up this pool, but let's see if the little Newfoundland wants to swim in the pool. I feel like this might take some work. Be right back. With all the positive experiences I had with Bear and the Newfoundland breed, I was like, I have to stay loyal to the breed. And the thing that gets me about the Newfoundland breed is that their disposition is by far my favorite. I can't say the best, because that's not fair, but it's definitely my favorite. They're definitely jerks as puppies though, <laughs> I will say that. He likes to just take his water bowl, flip it over, and literally swim around on the wood as it's wet but they're so cute, they're so friendly. He gets along with Bear so well, even though they fight all the time. And actually when I say fight, people take that the wrong way. They actually just kind of like play battle all the time. They never bite each other, they just, oh, okay. It looks really vicious if you don't know what you're looking at, but Bear is so gentle with him. Given the fact that he's a puppy, he could easily hurt him by stepping on him, but he's so gentle. He only hits him with his head, he like flicks him away, especially when Rib is being annoying, which does happen quite often. They've gotten along very well. Even the first day that I brought Rib home, Bear met him and they were right away best friends. Like I, I had Bear on a leash because I was worried would he try to be dominant because this is his home. But actually Bear was super calm, super welcoming. And I think this is ultimately gonna keep Bear young because something that I noticed with Bear is despite the fact that we're here a lot and he's usually not home alone, he seemed lonely. And I think getting him a little brother keeps him young. And when I say little, I think Rip is gonna be bigger than Bear. I think he's gonna be like 140, 150 pounds, which is 10 to 20 pounds more than Noof here. What I will say is this is gonna present a challenge because of slobber, A, but also because Bear has brown fur, which you don't really see on darker clothing, but this guy has white fur and some taupe fur, gray fur, whatever this is. It's gonna be a tricky fashion situation in the household. You know what's funny? Based on like AKC standards, this is technically not even an official Newfoundland color. But I thought he's so darn cute that I was like, there's no way that I'm not gonna call him an official Newfoundland. <laughs> Oh my God, Rib, this is violent. You can't attack me like this. All right, I have the riblet. This is his official first time going into the pool, so this is real. I feel like every time I'm carrying him, I'm carrying Simba from Lion King. And I feel like the next step would be to show Rib that Bear can actually swim in the pool and it's a safe place. Show him how you swim, Bear. That's a good new one. Rib, what do you think of it? What do you think? Are you interested at all? How do you feel about the pool? Watch out there, your camera, your camera, your camera. I'm gonna pick him up and I'm gonna walk him around and see how he does. Because he's gonna get a little nervous for sure, being around the water. So first we're just gonna walk around. We're gonna walk around. We're walking around. We're making paces. Teaching him that it's not scary is an important part of this. Notice I'm just dipping his foot so he knows he's still safe in my arms. And we're gonna gently allow him to exit the pool and see how he does. Sit. Good sit, good boy. Down. Good boy, sit. Good sit, good boy. You're so wet. Sit, come on. 
Good Sid, good boy. Paw, 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 good paw. Paw, paw, good paw. Paw, paw, paw. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, paw. Oh, good paw, good boy. I'm trying to get him to do paw, but it's so hard. He's he can only train for like five minutes at a time due to his limited attention span. And I've already washed him once. Here's a cute picture of him being washed because he did pee all over himself one time. There's been lots of sleepless nights with Ribby here. Um, I forgot because it's been a long time what it's like to <laughs> raise a puppy. Now he's holding it like at least four hours at night so I can wake up at least only one time in the middle of the night and early morning to walk him. Being that we live in a house and I haven't raised a puppy in a house, I've run into some unexpected troubles that I didn't even, I wasn't even aware that could happen. So first of all, because we're in all this nature, there's predators out here looking for prey. There was a fox here the other day, literally chasing him, like pulled up to see rib. And luckily I got bear to chase away the fox because I was worried about the fox. In fact, I don't walk rib at night without bear being present also, because who knows what kind of animal will run up on us. Also, there's these giant hawks or vultures. I don't even know what they are, but they circle whenever ribs around. And I think that they might pick them up. So I have to be like really careful. And again, having bear there, I think to act as a deterrent, but it's scary because if I got a little dog, not a giant Newfoundland, that would be a problem. Unfortunately, when I got him, he had a hookworm. And I didn't know about that until I got him his first vet checkup to get all his shots and all that good stuff. And when I found out, I kind of was grossed out because, you know, hookworm is something that animals can pass to humans. Ew. No, keep your hookworm to yourself. He's been treated, by the way, since, so I'm not worried anymore. Usually it's transmissible through like soil and feces, so you step on it and you get this rash. I was worried about more the gastrointestinal hookworm for myself, because for dogs it causes diarrhea, difficulties gaining weight, anemia, all that stuff. So I was worried about me getting that, because I've been <laughs> kissing him a lot when I first got him. But it, it turns out um, that that's pretty rare for, for gastrointestinal hookworm to happen in humans from dogs. We're gonna gently allow him to exit the pool and see how he does. Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Ribby, you like that. I know you like that. I know you I know you like that. I know you like that. Let's go swim. Come on. Come on. That's a free-floating noof. And that's Bear trying to rescue him. Bear, he's safe. Look at him, he's his coach. Coach, you got this. Lots of cute videos incoming. In order to follow his journey, make sure you follow us on Instagram. That's really important. Dog bathing video of two giant dogs definitely incoming. Dog swimming video of both of these guys definitely incoming. Is there anything you want to see them do that I haven't yet thought about for a video? There's definitely going to be a dog Olympics. There's got to be a king of the castle in this house. Please submit your ideas on what kind of content you want to see us make and check out Bear's video when he was a puppy because he was a lot smaller than this the first time we filmed. Click here to check that out. And as always, stay happy and healthy. Ow, Rib, you're abusing me. Rib, that's a plant.